Hello, this is Phyllis Shainholtz, Extension Educator for the University of Nebraska. As a co-author of the Nebraska 4-H project, QuiltQuest, and a State Fair Superintendent, I'd like to thank you for taking time for judging 4-H quilts. This is the first of four short videos to help you better understand how to judge quilts, particularly 4-H quilts. The videos include number one, getting ready to judge, number two, the presentation of the quilt or exhibit, three, design and creativity, and four, workmanship in making the quilt or exhibit. The authors of the Nebraska 4-H Project Quilt Quest have reviewed this training information. Their names are below. Check out the judging resources ahead of time. Be sure you look at the 4-H Quilt Quest manual or DVD, which explains quilt history, construction, and preservation. Then go to the 4h.unl.edu website and look for the standards for judging quilts and quilted items. Check out the current fair book and then any letters that you received. Before the day of judging arrives, be prepared. Watch all of the training videos to keep up to date with current trends, projects, and exhibits. Read all the materials that you were provided. Call if you have questions, bring your tools, and plan to arrive on time. It can be helpful if you bring the following items with you. One, a watch for timely judging, information sent by the office ahead of time, a long quilting tape measure, and extra pencils. Judging can be a rewarding experience for both you and the 4-H'er. Help the 4-H exhibitor understand what is expected for a good quality quilt. Help them brainstorm future learning goals and how to reach them. A judge's interest and enthusiasm in a project area can be contagious. Understand the differences in age-appropriate skills. A younger person may not have as much control over finger muscles or have as good as hand-eye coordination yet or dexterity. An older youth with years of experience will have much more mastery of skills and an increased knowledge of quilt making. 4-H's are proud of their hard work. Be aware of your own personal likes and dislikes. For example, when I make quilts, I like working with deep, rich colored fabrics, and I really have a less preference for Civil War reproduction fabrics. As a judge, those preferences should not sway the way I look at an exhibit. Sometimes judges learn one particular way of how to construct a quilt. We need to be open to other possibilities. Remember their new trends and new techniques that can accomplish the same task. Also remember the exhibit has been made by a young person who's learning and growing. Consider ribbon placement. A purple, all areas should be outstanding. No obvious flaws. Blues, generally acceptable, but maybe one or two areas that are not quite the very best. Red, average quality. It has several areas that are maybe less than perfect. And white, the exhibit has many problems. Maybe it's not durable, not done correctly, or maybe it's not ready to be used. Most of the judging will be done on quilted items. However, there are other exhibits related to quilting and quilt designs. Perhaps you will see barn quilts or other wood, metal, glass, paper, other types of exhibits, maybe even something about quilt history. During the judging, there are three aspects to consider. One, presentation of the exhibit. Consider its overall appearance when you first see it. Two, design or creativity. Pay attention to the elements and principles of design. And the last one, workmanship, the finer details of the exhibit. This concludes video one, prepare for judging. Be sure you watch the other videos. And again, thank you for judging 4-H quilts.